one, I won't lie. Impressed by their diligence on map one. Ooh. All five long here. Play flash is really good. There's so many targets and I can't believe Bobski doesn't go down there. He catches so much bullets, so much damage. Oh my God, this round has only just begun, but it's practically over. Whew, oh my goodness. Okay, so that's 69 points of health <laughs> on the remaining two for complexity. And it is just that 2v2. Oh, Ooh, wow. That was a kill on config. Yeah, well, he's 2 HP now, so it shouldn't be too long until he goes on down, as Dupree might even get lucky through the door here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to do anything. Yeah. Doesn't need to. Config is essentially in the worst position you could possibly be. A clutch with 2 HP, your margin for error, your chances, it's all really riding on a mistake from Astralis at this point. Mistake in Astralis. They don't yeah. usually go in the same sentence. Teammates might have called that. You can see the tip of his head. One bullet's all Magus needs to hit. He catches one with his knife out. There was a, a momentary window where he could have pivoted all the way to B. It's unlikely. Okay, Astralis, they'll take the pistol. And it's off the back of Bubsky doing a boatload of damage. He did get two kills. And Device did the same as well, half, halfing another down to 48. Supri that finishes him off. You can see he's holding that T-spawn angle. It's nice for the headshots on the cross as well. Just one into the arm of Config. Ooh. That's always satisfying. Pulling out your weapon first, pull it out of the barrel into the dome. Interesting to note that Glaive is actually over towards the A side of the map, so not in the same position Esetag was when they were playing just the other day against Vitality in the SL1 Cologne. Ooh, that one was only just a little bit shy. So it's actually Magus playing over towards that B site. So chopping and changing, I did... I did say once upon a time that if any team was going to play spawn-based Counter-Strike, that it, it <laughs> could be an Astralis or a Liquid, one of the, the greats in the last couple of years. Obviously, the role players of Device will always maintain that primary orping position. But there's room with how fundamentally sound and good all of these players are to actually get away with a play like that. It's forced by on the side of complexity, though, is the round two focus, and the Scout of Poison is... Very, very potent, as we've just seen in the previous map. So with these smokes and flashes, it does look like they can set up for an AX cube. Glaive will do his best to hold on to that Molotov to disrupt and hopefully spread out this attack so they can deal with them in two different waves. Okay. Smoke goes up. Molly goes in. And that's a big oh. chunk of damage that just came through. Yeah, utility damage was often a topic of discussion for Astralis. This time it's going to be a massacre. It couldn't be in a better spot for it. Look oh. how much damage. Let the SMG have some as well. 1,200 bucks. Quick 300 added to the mix for the USP frag. Are you eating popcorn out of a mug? Mad respect. It looks like a big mug, though. Yeah. It's a soup bowl with I mean, a handle. Those soup bowl -y mugs are prime cereal and popcorn dispensaries. Oh. Did you guys enjoy your popcorn? Uh, was oh. it yesterday? It was sweet popcorn. I hated it. I had about three little... You like it? No, I made, the, awesome. I made the mistake of going for a large bag. Oh, how too much? And I just, I probably I consumed a, a, a very wasteful percentage of it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's unfortunate. What also could be unfortunate is... <laughs> I said, I do want to keep an eye on the nade damage because overall, that first game really delivered, especially on Inferno. My mind rolls back to that, the first uh, series we cast today. Obviously, Spirit setting quite the high standard on this map, but I do expect... Uh, if not a great deal better between these two. But first frag comes in for uh, quite a comfortable CT side so far. Until maybe then. So all three up cat. This is going to be heard. Device might handle the deal with this. Ah. He's got them all very low. A bomb plant would be fantastic, and oh. not going to happen. Glaive jumping to deny it, but puts himself in harm's way. They've done well to find significant damage to the uh, CT economy, but it will not convert unless Poison can do what his teammate could. And two HP in a dream, not to be. We'll see the rifles recovered. Ooh, not quite getting rid of the FAMAS there on Bubski. But he'll be dropping out the AWP, so we will get device on that early. Decent long spawn here for at least one of the members on the side of things for complexity. So maybe they won't get Oboe out the doors and see if he can find an opening. Australis Look in the other way, Chad. 
Yeah, you're right, he is. So this tells a story of a potential default coming through. Nice using the mid-cross smoke to his advantage to catch anybody if they want to be going quick down middle. And biff up towards Cat or get control of Xbox, but they are just postured two towards the top of mid, one outside long, one lower dark, and one watching the upper B tunnels. In a moment, you'll see them flash on over. Push the AWPA back, and now they'll grab some cat control. That'll be the next part of the territory that will be on Complexity's agenda here today. Very textbook counter-strike here from the Complexity side of things. Cat control gives you the avenue to hit A, or potentially go for some mid to B, sell some fakes, apply pressure, maybe do a late A long split. With all these Molotovs and smokes in play, they could just go for an A execute. Blame F is going to put out the mid to B smoke here. That will hold the two players over towards the B side of things in case there will be an attack coming their direction. Glaive's actually cheated down towards the CT spawn ramp. And in they come. Device going to play for the retake. Just focus on long for now. Try and flush out the... Lurk, ooh, does manage to clip someone's wings. It was actually Rush, he didn't quite hit him. Damage elsewhere, it was poison that got brought down. Rush in the meantime, through that CT smoke. And it's about time Blame F came online, because he's losing players left and right. Device was still ready, still waiting. Obo, oh, he's very precise. Clinical in his first two, but it will not be anything more than that. Defuse four Magis to secure. Happily upgraded with the AK-47 before, but for for now, Astralis off to a spotless start. Let's see how Rush opened things up. So, leaping off multiple targets. That's the smoke kill we missed. God, he was working on the narrowest margins. Stopping things before they got out of hand as well. Obo just having his hair cut. That was a, a bit of a pounce there, right? They did that without too many tells onto the A site through Cat. It was just a flash and go, taking advantage of Glaive, and then that would catch Device out of position, unable to flick on and using the smokes to his advantage. Going to be towards Long here. So no Molly came. They're just going to pounce. Yeah, off we go to the races. One for one trade comes out. Device a bit on an island now, feeling a little bit marooned. Going to have to fall back towards Plateau. Be a little cautious of short, of course, unsure of the information. We freely have as now the rest of the CT side must adjust accordingly. Oh, fluffing the boost a couple of times here. Device oh. will eventually get on up. It's not the end of the world. There's no pressure being applied just yet. Poison has pit control. I don't know if he's going to peak this with the AK in the same way that you might expect. Could just use the smoke from the back of pit. Here it comes. Ooh, good find. Blame seems to be able to make that lurk roll happen very well on several maps, and this seems to be one of them. Always a pressure, always a nuisance. Obviously, Device had his number last round, but now here comes the cross. Three players trying to make it over. Bomb is there with Obo, so... This is very promising, and they won't have a chance to even save because Blame F is storming through B. Already takes down Magis clinically. Device around as well. He's going to try and find a safe haven elsewhere. Just dip around the corner just in time. Glaive's just going to go and see if he can do any damage. And he does manage to take Rush out of the equation. A jump frag oh. onto Obo, and he spots his an elbow towards Goose. He could even go on for more here. Oh, Poison's under threat. Doesn't find the headshot. Now that's some significant damage that no one else saw coming. Device will even catch blame, and this has gone from what was a happy four players still standing A plant into a bit of a somber tone for Complexity's first round on the board. Losing all of their players, straight reset. Poison's the only player to have not died every single round. So, poor T side will be having to dust themselves off and string another one together, but you can see it is just suboptimal. Yeah, for both sides. So if Device drops over an M4, they have the AWP in play, they can scrap together a buy here, but it would be a little bit more gambly. On a map like Dust2, this is the find from Blame here over towards the mid doors, good stuff. On to Megas. This is the jump shot that got everybody in the room excited. Not the regular position to be hitting a jumping M4 kill, but you can see the buy. So Glaive on the shotgun, Famous in play. 
And AK is a plenty on the other side of things with Config having to go down to that Galil. Flame is lurking again. They're out long again. Yeah, straight away. That's not really been too much of an issue. That okay. is, though. Wow. $900 in the Lurk dead. Long needs some backup. Limited util. It will be bullets they have to throw. And Complexity are on the way across. Bubski close to it. Maybe he can get the timing window right. So many speculative shots. A gap in the smoke and straight through. Oboe connects. The Molotov short. They have a full access point into the plant now. Poison will not be contested for this. And I'm not seeing a single kit here, folks. Mm -mm. If they retake, they do so quickly. That high flash is huge. That was just insane work from Device. Nice high flash, sets up Dupree. That one Device closes the account. Beautifully played on the playback in. Honestly, it was a blink and miss it, but yes, the no kit could have been a problem, but luckily for them, it seems to mean they've gone around it. I just want to check back on that smoke. If that was thrown correctly and it didn't have a, a little bit of a gap for Dupree to try and exploit there, potentially they don't get that double kill. So. Really good stuff there, and that was Glaive kicking it off in lower dark, making sure that Blame F couldn't be a nuisance within the late rounds. Five to one now. Did you see how they, they set him up for the device, making sure that anyone watching that lower dark cross was about to be orped in the face? They had a little bit of a, a little bit of a communication amongst themselves to him in order that they could set that shotgun up in the lower dark. And that puts Astralis onto the oh, good start. Poison starting off strong as well, just tags out the orper. He gobbles up a flashbang now, and they should have full access to Catwalk. Bomb and team leaning B. Blame unloading his mag to try and feign presence, and it does pull out a little util. Let's see how Magisk fares on his first real test of B. Different sort of pressure over here. That oh. nade is going to help, and then some. He's got support. Dupree's got his back here. But yes, pound for pound, didn't do so good. But Russian Oboe delivering on every single front you could imagine. Glaive, Bubsky, and Device could be called upon. But Device, he's not feeling much of this. He's, he's a mile away. Save call immediately. So Astralis wanting to hold on to their guns. Economy still in a precarious position here within the early stages of the second map. This is Complexity's choice. And one of the dramas that they are going to have, and we'll be discussing this throughout when we see Astralis potentially come into every day with a brand new roster is the difficulty to understand what's on the other side of the server. We know that device will be AWPing. You know that you have some aggressive riflers. You know that Dupree will probably be doing some secondary AWPing, but players and tendencies and what we've been talking about for the last couple of years as coaching has become and analysts have become uh, such a focal point on these squads is the way that you can analyze an individual's approach to a certain part of the map, especially on the CT side. You can take advantage of the smokes and Molotovs or the positions that they like to play. And when you know those tendencies, it kind of is a process of elimination. You don't need to go into the server checking every corner in the same way because you've already done the homework. And a lot of the time that can pay on off. And now with the Strauss with a seven man roster in Pro League that is a round robin. They have an opportunity to mix things up almost every day of the week. So unpredictability will now become a strength of the once very predictable Danes. And I mean predictable in terms of getting all those Ws. So over the smoke, they're trying to boost here in middle, but the flashes will hold them at bay. And out long we go again. Loving long aren't complex. Yeah, and they seem to, as Lauren said, rightfully, get it every single time they want it. This time it's going to be Bubsky going down him immediately. And Last time this happened, it was devices. Ooh, spots one for Config and losing half of his health for that information. Glaive wants to deny some here from Complexity. If he clears the tunnels, he can get his pieces in the right place. They push together and they're going to deny that. Sweep it, call it clear. Device, maybe he doesn't even need any help on this long position. The flashes will catch him. He's playing this very smart, calculated, clinical. Obo, precise as well. One of four required. God oh. damn. Oh, he's a threat, is he's Oboe. He's a robot, isn't he? Yeah. When you say these little robots running around with their, their, their ridiculous aim, you're not wrong. What is that? Yeah, I, I think it's just those young eyes, Lauren. You know, I can barely see the screen and I'm He's right plucking of heads it, so. off shoulders at 150 meters. Yeah. I bet they're all using the native res. Oh, I bet. Have you seen that they're now doing like the 360 hertz, whatever it is, like next level stuff coming out now? What it is? Yeah, 360 mm -hmm. hertz is out. I don't know if it's 360 or three something, it's but five, I don't know. yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that, apparently game changing. Uh, hey, well, I thought 240 was pretty bloody game changing. Nah, 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 nah. Jesus, Joseph. Nah. They don't want long this time round, and maybe there's a good reason for that. 
Spice being legged early is something to keep in the back of our minds as it is a three-man B lean. So if Complexity get cat control, then posture from mid to B, they might actually find themselves in a bit of trouble here. Upski locking down long. Glaive just being the caretaker of the cat position. And it does look they do like they do want to go for a mid to B. That's a great nade onto poison. Big amount of damage done, but it will be unknown. They drew out the rotation, so they will have an opportunity here just against the standard round. Two towards B, one towards CT. Poison just walking around the corner with his nades out. Yeah, dangerous game and so is that. Rush actually stayed alive during this, but it's Dupree this time towards B. Magus last time was the one posted at the front, so it's a new challenger this time around. Turns the flash, doubles back in. Clean. Flame F gone as well. It's a lot of the heavy lifting done by Dupree. Rush is right in the smoke. Glaive, are you aware of this? He wasn't ready. Oh, now he jumping straight through though, oh, Bubski. Yeah. Ready and waiting to collect. Great attempt. Given the health, he had to take a gamble and he did. But that is the seventh now for Astralis. They're really building up quite a strong blue wall here. And Poison's death definitely got Chad with an eyebrow raised. This was Dupree continuing to lock down B. If he hadn't have found the two healthiest players here, it would have been a very nasty retake. Some good fragging, getting under Blame's skin. Yeah, I, I understand why they're going for the Force Buy, because they just need one of these rounds to break Astralis. Their money's in the bin as well. They just need to break through. Whoa. That's one way to do it. Top fragger dead. Glaive down and out. And more dinks uh, in the smoke. Bobski might want to get the hell out of dodge. That's going to be a deterring factor. Quick smokes. Conflict's going to throw his on the fly. Blame to flash him across. Actually, it looks like Oboe's responsible for the second. Boosting up just in the nick of time. Uh, caught with a nade in his hands. And now overwhelmed. Just like you called it, Chad. They do look like they're trying to break through. Closest they've come to humbling the Astralis economy. Device steadied his aim, but to no avail. Good dunk, but it's nothing more than utility damage stats at this point. Taking this away from Dupree, it's not necessarily... Oh, okay, trying to bait them into him with a bit of a jump noise. Yes, I'm here, come on, push the smoke. Gonna get pinned. Oh. Well, you said that they need to do a little something just to break the economy of Astralis. This is one this way. Is a little something. <laughs> That's, you'll take that, right? Yeah, the force buys. Uh, I, I might bring it up in the post game if complexity win here, but just how close the economy would have been throughout the entirety of this first half. Constantly buying, both teams bottoming out their bank accounts throughout. There you go again. Yeah, and the fact that Astralis don't want to give them too much wiggle room here. I, I understand that. You don't want to let the game spiral out of control if you don't have to. So it's a light purchase. It's not an all-in. You can see most of them's keeping over $500 in the bank. That will allow them to go for the gun round in the following. Actually, no, it will be the eco in the following. Unless they steal this one away. Yeah, is that the, the bomb? bomb? It's on the other side. It's all right. Is it on the other side? Uh, well, Hold yes. on a sec. I think it's... There we go. All right. <laughs> Thanks, so uh, close to the wall. Dad, Rush, same person. <laughs> Otherwise known as... Rash or Green. <laughs> I would like to just see Complexity regroup here and execute onto a site with all this utility. If they limp out and go for Angels, they, they might get their heads taken off by some of these Deagles. Pre's done it before. I can hear the scope. He knows they're move. close by, and he's got device there with him. There goes the smoke. Here's one. That's not bad. That's a good bit of damage, and they're certainly on red alert now, but Maggie's surrounded. Yeah, Magis is just desperate for one. Oh, poison, a little lackadaisical. He's given them a way in. Now the bomb has to be retrieved. It gets held at the moment. They're actually going to force the smoke out of Config just to recover it and safely getting that bomb down. Oboe and Config up against unarmored Danes. Will the absence of armor cost them? That is the question. Glaive's opting for tunnels. And that's safe for device. Okay, no info. Config, oh, just as the smoke fades, he catches him. And that's neat and tidy for complexity.
Just at the end there, though, the chaos was caused by Magisk Dupree and Glaive, respectively. Let's see if we can recap that round a little bit. So, yeah, that Deagle from Dupree poisoned did well to do the close quarters orping. I got a little nervous, but Config really tidied things up neat and tidy. Just that frag onto device. Problem solved. Whether that smoke cleared was perfect for Config there, you could see it on the replay that he actually could see the toes of Device before Device could see anything going on towards that window position, and now it will just be the full save. So the limp in buy in the previous with a $1,900 loss bonus this round, round, this round will be the $2,400. And I think... Hold up a second. No, no. That was meant to be uh, Blame's chance to get a couple of free kills. Now they move as a pack. The FBI squadron. <laughs> Alpha leader. They're doing a bit of role play. It's not a temporal pincer. It's not quite the temporal pincer. Temporal? Blue team in CT. It is just USPs. This should not be scary. No, it's it really shouldn't the rest be scary. Of this game, right? Portion is the, the, the tenet of society. See if they can get through. I hate this. Ooh, okay, the flashes are fine. Everyone's cool. We can all calm down. He's boosted up. Maybe Device gets one in the back of the head, but Aww. Config's done some good shooting there. And he did dig <laughs> one in the back of the head. That's about all. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no one can find the I angle. Yeah, it could get awkward, but I mean, surely they know where he is. They don't have to fight him, but they will. And they get it done all the same. Doesn't matter about the manner of which they've done it. Astralis have done well to get three frags in the back-to-back -back quasis. But we are back under the uh, the realm of a full buy. Bubsky's opting for an org. Wonder if that's indicative as to whether or not he got a bee spawn or not. Let's see. So just really briefly, Chad, I know you talk about spawn-based Counter-Strike a lot. Um, if someone doesn't pay attention as much, benefits very briefly. What are the main benefits of it right now? Because on the CT side, especially on a map like this, if you're able to have your best spawn locking down long every time, you can get that molly in nice and quick. That could have been a nice example, but at the moment, Magus and Bubsky combine to get it done. That's a brilliant beginning for the CTs. Certainly is, and that smoke's going to lock Config out. So... Not too much alarm bells for blame on this push. He is going to come through mid on the flash. This round can change in an instant. Config lining up for one part of the uh, smoke wall. We could just draw the default. And he will do that instead. So a wall of smokes. Just one for him, and the second coming in from Blame a little later. And they just progress up. The plan retake hardcore here, Astralis. That's a great incendiary to make sure Magis can't contest that plant, jump up for info or anything of that ilk. It's game time, retake time. Glaive closing the gap on the half wall, supported by Bubsky. 5v4 post plant. First high flash, config turns, dips down, avoiding all of this. He's managed to get away with murder and then some. Blame F helps out, taking down Dupree, leaving just Device and Magisk. And this one might just be over and done with Device. A little too close for comfort. Yeah, that one there, you need a bit of utility to be going for a retail like that, and complexity set up very well. Now, the initial duel over towards long. I want to make a note on the point you were just asking about, Lauren. Magus has actually been playing over towards B for the majority of these rounds, but this time round, he had the best spawn for long. He took it, and they were able to shut down that initial aggression from the complexity side of things. However, it didn't pan out on them getting around. But it did get them an opening kill. So let's see what happens now as Astralis' money is really quite rubbish, and Poison will open up the account. Nade will be dunked on through. Deco not scaring anybody. Oh, man just scares uh, me though. Can I join that club? Yeah. Quick headshot. Flame flashed again into middle. They seem to be battling and vying for this every time. That incendiary, or rather Molotov, will force them both back. Device has caught one in the meantime though. This isn't 
a walk in the park for complexity. It's supposed to be. They're supposed to be having a nice casual conversation, taking time to admire the scenery. Maybe giving the dog a treat if he does what he's supposed to. Long's a dangerous prospect here knowing the pistols are in play. The distance could be closed down. You have to clear bedroom. You have to clear the other side of the door. So it looks like with the bomb on the back here of poison going up towards catwalk, they might just try and go short to A. As long as they can clear the closed sections of short and blame F keeping the players locked in towards B with that mid to B smoke. Oh, okay, glorious. this is timing. Yeah, they should have done enough though. They're going to walk into an open A site here and device is long flank. I mean, yes, there is an, a, an element of surprise. You can see he's doing that sprint step. Staying as silent as he can while it's also looking to retrieve that AK. Now he goes back to long. Okay. It's not going to be easy. It's hardly possible. But the Astralis boys start their campaign back in towards the site. That smoke more and more seeing utilization to slow the retake. Glaive, that's his incredible shot. Rush is in trouble too. Device does show up in the feed and now it's only Blame. Needs a clean tap and he does get oh. two of the three required. Blame F saves complexity and really tying this half up. It did look at the start of things to be rather dire straits. At one point it sat at four to two. At one point even more later, it sat at six to two in favor of Astralis. And from that, we now find ourselves seven to seven. Five rounds in a row from Complexity. Let's pick their seven up. Really brave by Blame to play that 1v1 by going for the fight instead of playing in the catwalk position. But I think his teammate may have communicated a Molotov was picked up. So that's the details there. And look at this Biff from Config. Halted by the Molly. No Biffing early for Config this time. Be able to rekindle something, but by now, I think Glaive's in prime position. Sometimes I don't want to biff early. You biff late. It's usually the approach I go for. So they do have cat control. Device playing forward here might want to continue to creep. They need information at some point. They set up with two over towards B, one towards long. In rotation is Glaive, a pivotal member here on where he decides to push and how he decides to do it. Oh, that Molotov is great, but. I don't know if it's going to be particularly punishing for Dupree. I guess it at least nullifies that corner threat for the commitment. Magis the turret. Magis the turret. He's already done good damage to one and a half. Rush doesn't completely clear his corners. It's Obo to draw something for complexity back, oh. but he gets dunked on in the process. They're just getting chipped away at. A war of attrition won by Astralis. And it will be an 8 7 half. They just pipped them at the post, but from 7 to 2, Complexity have made a game out of this. The 2 0 dream still on the cards. Shoot it to move it. I'm chasing the bag, not a coochie. Contest with the fake, now it's Gucci. Word of my nigga from the 0 to 1. You count six shots and I count two guns. Some people still think I rap just for fun, but soon they look up to me just like the sun. Yeah, you can come over here. Swear it's like no career. Swear you got no idea. Soon you have no career. Take a good look in the mirror. They need to know that I'm here. Don't you act like it ain't clear. Yeah, push start. Ball so hard. Raise the bar, ayy, turn into a star, ayy. Play my part, yeah, I ain't too far. I do it big, I 
keep it large, okay? Live it up. Cause it's fake, better give it up. Young, but they feel like I've seen enough. Numbers going up, better keep it up. It's going down, better live it up. About too hard, ayy. What? About too hard, ayy. What? About too hard, ayy. Ay. About too hard. Back in business, Astralis in complexity, they've closed the gap. The international squad that can and up against Astralis will keep things competitive. 7-2 to two into an 8-7 half. That's complexity. T-side done. Astralis now stepping into the attack. I've got Chad alongside me for the ride. Lauren Pansy Scott as well. And we started off GG.bet still leaning complexity's way. 2-0 definitely on the cards after the way that half ended, Chad. Indeed, and I think uh, Astralis, they have to... Come out the gate swinging here, and the P250 of Magus being dinked down immediately through the mid doors is not the way he was hoping to kick this round off. They do have long control, however, and quite a passive setup from Complexity coming through. Those USPs at range, ready to do some damage. I wonder, because of Magus' position, the fact the bomb's there as well, like, maybe they want to try and sell something here. Like, Magus with this smoke, he's got so many options available to him. Looks like they're gathering back up towards long now. Blame's flashes could be instrumental here because if it's just the standard long play with the two smokes across, Blame is going to flash his teammates in and that's another dink coming out early. Aim on point in the server today. So, yeah, Poison, whatever you do, don't go down before those... Oh, he gets the info. That might be the call for the flashes. There's one. Poison has a look. Oh, and he already finds the head of one. Second flash to deter. Trying to find any way to slow down this assault. The full rotate's on its way. Blame just peppering them through the smoke and distracting them enough for Poison to continue to collect. Three in the round from Poison, two from Oboe, and Complexity shut down that attempt at the long crawl. Great stuff there. That's what we want to see with the bounce back. Fun fact about today, mm -hmm. uh, this is map number five of, uh, well, we had our first series. If you missed it, it was Spirit versus Fnatic. Now we have Complexity versus Astralis. And the fun fact is every single half has ended 8-7. That is a fun fact. Every single half today has ended 8-7. <laughs> I did seven. look on my notes like, 7-8, hmm, 8-7, seven, 7-8. Eight, eight, seven, seven, eight, so, mm. I've got another fun fact for you oh. while they run their Glocks in. Damn, did really? you know that you don't need to rebuy your armor if you have more than 50 points as T and 57 points as CT? I and actually it, never knew that, and I always go. do wonder. And exactly. someone crunched the numbers. RPK wasted $7,000 at ASL1 Cologne rebuying armor he didn't need to. Could have used that to pay his taxes. <laughs> Certainly could have. Good shots. Poison on that scout, and he's already collecting all of them. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, indeed. Four, maybe even the ace. No, nope, stolen from him by config. But regardless, he's just locking down those glocks, thrown towards the ace site. Nothing particularly exciting to write home about just yet. Seven kills in two rounds must feel pretty damn good for Poison there. I think he will hold on to the scout rifle, taking it into round number 18, as the buy will be coming through on the Astralis side of things. I hope he does the doors jiggle. There's not much you can do to contest a, a good scout player wibbling around those uh, those doors. He is taking it long this time, though. I mean, I Balance was definitely an example of what you can do with that sort of Precisely. thing, Precisely. Right? Give me a little bit more of that. You know, it could lose to Chad's favorite clip again, but I'll enjoy it. Uh, the <laughs> two players through the uh, portion of the tons. We're on the receiving end of a touch of damage. Not, not a great deal this time. A sprinkling. Dash. They just go for a standard A execute here with these AKs. I'm not sure they're going to have such an easy time with Poison because he will be able to jab in and out behind the smokes, behind the flashes. He'll get a couple tags on in. I want to see the wasp that was in my room just a couple of days ago. 
Terrifying. Fell on my foot. Very upset. Think he left. Not sure. How does a wasp fall? Because uh, he was on my blind. Open the blind. Uh, fell okay. on my foot. Didn't activate his wings. <laughs> Apparently not. He must be a bit docile. Yeah. I feel like he wasn't too pleased. Maybe but... that was a tame one. Maybe that was a domesticated wasp. Oh, gosh. I've, I've wasted a true opportunity. But someone who's not domesticated, a bit of a wild child is old poison, at least in the first couple of rounds okay. of this half. That's gorgeous. The first was a hint of damage in towards those tunnels. That one... Ooh, uh, a smear. Yeah, okay, so check this out. Same smokes we saw from the first half. Blaine probably going to try and rotate up that ramp as best he can, and that's Glaive's chance to punish, but with the, the Molotov being thrown out, he knows there's two to rotate. He's going to cut this rotate off at the heels. Look at this. One, two, with his knife out, sprays wild. Good moves from Config. His heart's still beating now, and perhaps even quickening in pace. Right, they've got 10 seconds. They need to get that bomb in the sight. They will. No one to contest. Maybe Poison Scout could. Config contesting, he's going to dunk onto those low HP players. No one goes down, he does find one. Poison onto Device as well. Retaking this side, Magis making it difficult. And Rush forced into a clutch scenario. Two more to find, they are both low. Bubski significantly low. And he has a kit, so he's certainly not in any rush. Bubski not planning to move any muscles anytime soon. Magis, clean. Just on the reposition, goes wide. And it's a double kill for the two remaining players there as they convert their ninth. So it was a bonus round with a lot of those guns being carried across, but the money is not fantastic on the complexity side of things to be going for a buy. This is Confit being able to mid-air adjust, bit of a 360. Famous to the head of Glaive and almost gave them a window. If he didn't go down on Cat, if he stayed alive and they could have worked together, retaking the site, potentially getting himself back in it, but getting back in it will be poison. He's been able to afford the AWP. It's a glass cannon. This is an all-in from complexity here. They need to convert. Come on, let's have a look at what you got here, Poison. You have been on point. I want to see a big round from you here. And so far, so good for the T's. They've taken over long. That's definitely on the checklist. They're happy with that so far. And no damage really caused for a little bit of util here and there. But CT side focusing a great deal of, I guess, their players at the moment towards middle. Yeah, but if they get this info, this, this rotation should likely make it way back in time. Magisk vulnerable to the flank of Config. And hearing the player rotate off B. Oh, oh, he's it perfectly. Look at that. Catches him completely unawares. And now Config equipped with an AK-47 and Poison putting that glass cannon to good use. Device eats it. And I wouldn't recommend eating glass. No, to be honest. That's probably not. Unadvisable. Mm. The late cat lurk here coming in from Glaive could be everything in this round. So they're still posturing as if they're doing the standard long play. They flash Poison off the line. Oh, he's been spotted. It's quite a couple of problematic loss if they lose poison here. And he no should be overwhelmed. Time. He's just got nowhere to go. He stabilizes. And now perhaps there's a gap. Oboe's got rid of the threat. It is all onto one man, Dupree. No slouch with the rifle. Time present. Plant down. They'll be coming in from three to separate angles of approach. And he spots one out. Initially on Oboe, the flash is great and catches him in transition. There's Config. Okay, that 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 had the AWP in it for sure, but that was still a very weak buy in comparison to what they should have. I don't know how Complexity keep converting rounds where they do work with so little in comparison. Yeah, I mean, this time it was Poison given the task of go big or go home, and he opted for the former. I'm curious to know there if Rush making noise on that B site before yeah. they rotated over was intentional to keep Magus turned towards the upper tunnels. But this here, he, he should never have gotten away with that. He should have been converted on. Poison shouldn't have been getting away with a single frag in that environment. And then Config makes it look too easy onto Dupree there to finish things off. So not only do they scavenge the AWP back for Poison, they get two AKs coming into this one. And Config even has a big green of his own. This is Astralis down to the pistols. Against double AWPs, it's probably not that bad. It might even be a fast mid to be. Config might be overwhelmed here. He's in a bad spot. Things don't go too badly wrong. No one pounces, no one pushes, no one tries to pressure. As the initial cross comes up, device staying perfectly alive. However, Dupree can't tell the same tale. Bomb now dropped, that can be recovered, but that mid pressure is becoming a thing. But Blame F's now come over and supported. Yeah. Any sort of impact they plan to make. Oh, we can have a nice little smoke tutorial with Glaive. This is one that Nico messed up. Oh, no, it's not. Thought he was going to do the run throw to B. That's a nice and easy oh, CT smoke from short. Gonna have to be locked into that Xbox commitment. Two of them have descended CT. Blame could get caught unawares here, but it seems that like Poison's kept things neat and tidy. 
And only Bubski and an armored 29 HP to P250. Three, two, one. Bubski's gone. This is looking good for complexity right now. If they're able to weather this buy coming on through from Astralis here, look, the max loss bonus will basically be in play for Astralis very soon. And if they can keep denying them getting site control and plants, that's another very positive sign. And everybody contributing here. If Blame is the uh, lowest fragger on your team for the complexity side, that's actually a, a good sign because Blame's normally the one who's, who's having to find a lot of work. The fact that he isn't and they're still getting away with 11 rounds. If he comes online, very dangerous scenes for Astralis here. The AWP is out, biffing down mid. Vegas. Molotov will deny him that early access. I wonder if Config wants to pick this. <laughs> the back and forth of utility for this one peak is, is exceptional. Oh, 2 HP. Vegas, how are you alive? 2 HP left is all he's got. Just hanging on by a thread. It's to be smoked down. And they're going to go for this just as the smoke fades. Conflict's going to need more than one. Stabilizing his aim does reveal his location. And on the flashes from Blaine gets another. This is very good stuff from Complexity. Oh my goodness. ovo has got no bullets. Device has. Puts one into him. Should just be Complexity's 12. Should being the operative word, a fake. A good nade. Double push. And beheaded. 12 now for Complexity. And this is what you were talking about, Chad. They do deal with it. Config getting a double on that B-site test. He's still at the top of the scoreboard. And we'll see how Magisk lives to fight another day only temporarily. This is Config playing some great Counter-Strike. Waits for the flash, peeks up, save frag. And there was only one frag there on the B-site that didn't have a flash assist. Yeah, those flashes were key. They were coming from Poison and Blame F who were both rotating towards CT spawn. And it was just a train of flashes, one after the other, making sure that that B attack, they could not see anything. So fantastic teamwork from Complexity. You gotta shut that down real quick. You can't let that sort of stuff keep happening. Poison really controlling his domain. Config, a little bit of trouble, a little bit of a test there. See how Glaive fired off the shots to try and bait him into the AK on Dupree? Very, very cheeky. But there is that hero AK in play. Maybe Dupree can take some space. He is gonna be taking some risks and he has just darted straight into B, but Config's there, he's everywhere. Poison. Both of them, the double orbs filling up. He has got the element of surprise onto Config. Maybe Glaive can make something of this round. I can't believe he was waiting willingly for the fight onto Poison. That's brave. That's brazen. And that's four kills for Poison. What a lot of impact Poison has had in this game. Just think about Train. Think about map number one. Think about how much he's come alive in this second half alone. Three kills on the pistol round. He's able to get four with the scout round. Obviously, it was against just some pistols but here with more impact and he's up to 18. I'm pretty sure he only had eight kills after the first half. He wasn't fragging that much. When you said three, I think I looked and he was on like 12 kills overall. So it, it really wasn't like a huge impact at the time. First half was very quiet. Yeah, and Poison, it's not that he hasn't been a star for this team in the past. It's just that the riflers, especially that blame, the map control, the lurking, they didn't get away with, Obo and Config being very, uh, look, gritty players. They can pull anything out of the bag. And now Poison firing on all cylinders. There was an interview with Blame with HLTV.org. It was much earlier in the year. Could have even been tail end of last. And they were discussing the fact of fitting all of these star players within this team and Rush being the individual who has to take a lot of the supportive roles. But Rush has really found a home for himself here. Making those roles sing. Being a very good supportive element of this complexity roster. And now they're only three rounds away from 2 0 Astralis. Yeah. That's... God, in context, that sounds wild. Glaive is so stylish on this, though. They're still fighting. Yeah, and the flash catches him again. Look at him go. Glaive! That is magnificent. A triple kill, all by his own design. He's finally silenced by poison. And they're going to be locked in here. Oboe's the one to throw away the key. Look at that. Both entrances, or rather exits for Astralis, are into the pointy end of what's left of complexity. Now, here's the problem with Oboe being all the way over there in T-Spawn is, yes, they are locked in towards the bedroom, but that means there's two 1v3 duels that are absolutely possible. Oboe's just making sure nobody is lurking. The same was Poison when he was slinking over towards Catwalk to make sure there was no flank. Now, if they get greeted with duels, that's fantastic news, but it's most likely going to happen is Poison will get overrun on this site. He needs to go huge. Yeah, they've got two smokes, right? So they can do the cross smokes at any point any they desire. Poison will take intermittent glances at long, hoping to catch 
the walk up of Dupree, supported by device though. It's entirely about timing and premonition. You might get the sound cue. He does. This is his opportunity. Obo rotated in to provide some support. Kandel for powerful spot. Ooh, good tags from Dupree, and now Obo's gone too. The hard work from Glaive will not go unanswered. They will convert it in the end, but let's not forget how that round started. Yeah, that could have been real dicey. Managed to deal with the threat, managed to force Poison to save this AWP. We'll have enough money to drop a gun or two in the following. Lane will be able to purchase on him as well. So not problems just yet for Complexity. But as Astralis were having trouble holding long in the first half, Complexity seem to be having the same dramas here. Yeah, the, the flash off the door, it's, you know, the, the bread and butter of it. I've seen T's with a coordinated smoke to make sure that that Molly's put out as the AWP goes for the peak. You combine them with a fast push and drops your uncle. All right, so we can see the bonuses here now. Poison has 6.3K. Shouldn't be too many issues as I was just prefacing earlier. So I'm going to talk through their options and how they want to deal with this. One way is taking some aggression across the map. You could go for an upper tunnels play to lock them in earlier and keep more players alive. You don't have to contest this at long. There are other options. It just does make life a little bit more difficult. And Glaive really could have had all of them right there. Urbo will only have a Deagle and MP9 for Rush. Double orbs out. So they actually opted to drop an orb over for config. This will be interesting. Long we go again. Dupree's ahead of the molly. Oh, he made it out. That's huge. Let's see what Dupree can do with this. It does seem as though he's hit the brakes. Nothing to be found at long. You'd already seen the blame have fell pretty far away from this. We have got a little bit of an interest in towards middle. There's that Russian poison really having a little look here. Trying to slice this map in half. Yeah, I haven't opted for the boost. It's glad that they're hunting. If he was to go wide, it would be a death sentence. He's not foolish enough to give them that for free, though. The longer they can hold on to these Molotovs, the better. If Astralis want to wait down the clock into the last 30 seconds before they hit the site, those mollies could be key in disabling the plant. Lurk smoke thrown out by Glaive. That's just to keep Config interested over towards the tunnels, and he can't really push forward with the AWP. Here comes the crossover smokes. Right. Okay, so a smoke blame drops just to have something for his team to play around. Also makes it difficult to mantle into the site. Blame catching the first. This is all AKs on the other side of that smoke. Dropping another into oh. the molly. More peculiar angles that Magisk has to find an affinity for immediately. Blame should have that frag. Does double kill so far for the leader as he's taken out of the equation. Oboe's Deagle. Only the one. Two on two. Device, excuse me, poison burning. Bubsky to plant. It's a tough one here. Poison and Config both with orbs. Can't help but feel they might want to concede this one, but they'll see what's given to them. And that was perhaps the oh. chance. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bubsky just presenting a little touch of flesh. Jump up for the fire. And there's Config onto Device. They'll go. Uh -oh. They'll go for this now. It's all fallen to Bubsky. Oh, he's Your missed. Name in the jersey and a missed shot. How uncharacteristic is that? That was it. Poison hoping he tagged him. He's got his pistol out, hoping, hoping, praying. It's over. Bubsky does collect a crucial round, and that is going to leave a mark. That could have been 14. Frustrating right there. Yeah. Good to see that he's not particularly, you know, as animated. I'm sure it feels just as crushing, but not going to let it get into his head. Rush was had the right idea playing around this smoke. Magic was just so ready for it. Love to see this from Poison's angle with the miss. So, yeah, just, just shy. God. Will be the eco coming through Broken right now. Them. Yeah, just the pistols out to play. Now the game's going to level back up. We could be on the cards for another overtime, just like we had on train. Ready for it. More than happy when we're seeing such fun, explosive counter strike. I just glaive, Bubsky, all poised to go and rush towards middle. There's a swing from Config trying to bring the fight through. Poison getting tagged up on the way. Can't capitalize on anything that may have been started just previously. And the three CTs left towards the ramp side over by B. Not really going to be gifted too many opportunities, I feel. 
Yeah, this should be a quick one. I don't think it'll be the same scenes as what we saw on train with only the USPs. We even had earlier in the day for Nani vs Spirit a couple of USP round wins as well with some utility sprinkled on in. Yeah. But now it's just Blame F last alive. Nothing he can really do. So we need to consider what we will see going into the next gun round. And, and that's where this long defense comes into question. Is it something that they want to mix on up completely? Do they want to... They've already sent four members there and haven't had success on that side of the map. It could be a, an all-in aggressive play towards the upper tunnels. Give up a piece, take another. Poison will actually be buying into the scout here. Famuses as well. It's not going to be a great buy, and this could actually be the undoing of complexity. <sighs> yeah, but we've seen how they can thrive in the... Uh... The semi buys and the quasi buys, the force buys, they've found a lot of success on train. Oh, okay. And we're off to the races. There will be a fight. This could be over in 30 seconds, Lauren. This round has already started off with a bang. A fully flash pushing through. Doesn't matter. In the flames, magic stands his ground. He gets away with murder. Down to six. Device taking a huge amount of space here. Oboe, you are about to be tested, my. Oh. Tagged up device. Poison. Nade to finish off. They're so Nade. low. That's so good. Oh, it's colossal. Glaive low. Oboe down on the swing, though. This is chaos in the ranks. They're running everywhere. You, you just saw, okay, long. Let's try it out. Doesn't work out. Okay, middle. No, it's still not working right. Let's go all the way around towards B. Bomb is finally on the way. Dupree is probably the healthiest of the bunch. That's about all you got to see. Magisk, 6 HP. Luckily for Glaive, I guess he did get the orb, so he can try and negate that. Plan comes in. What do the CTs do with this now? Yeah, it's just nasty. I mean, this is the the crutch of the issue with the CT side is that you can, if you do get pulled around the map, if you have to acknowledge all of these different presences, of course, the fast long play, your CT's so far away that retaking the site when you've already lost 20 seconds on that rotate, it's just, it's just unreasonable. It's unfeasible. And you're right, Chad, we do get our 13-13. OT, more and more of a likelihood, if not an Astralis full comeback. They string together four in return of Complexity's opener. Yeah, so Astralis are basically using the same strategy time and time again to get all that map control over towards Long, and they're making it work. Glaive with 23 kills. Good stuff here from the returning in-game leader. Will hold on to the AWP. Should be dropping that one across. Now, that nade from Obo, wow. <laughs> if he managed to get the double just there, that would have been wild. The fact that he didn't convert either of those frags with the Famous in play, a little bit unfortunate. The loss bonus was 2,900 for Complexity. Ah. They are taking a tactical timeout. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the money, I just saw it before we went away. Um, it looked like we had two M4s on the players that saved, so they can drop at least, we'll have four rifles in play. But uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so the Kevlar vest, 3150, 3250. So they could technically get your util distributed that way. Now, 15 seconds left and still not seeing a single budge. They will not take that sort of risk. It will just be blame F and poison with what they preserved and three complete USP non-investments. Okay, just as I say that, they go for the last second adjustment. Very last second. Charging down middle. Look at this. A beeline straight for it. Yeah, Blame. Well already gobbled a flash. There's no one behind it. The smoke keeps them at bay. I thought they were going to go full into that, but it's only might at the CT side. They're, they're fighting on the platform. Oh. That's big. Dupree goes down. Glaive now isolated. Have three players with utility being bored at him. CT side putting everything into that hole. They put all their pieces towards it, and now this could be massive. Does Bugsy check? No, he doesn't. And config does control it, even though it's a little nerve-wracking. Oh, gosh. When you see when you see that first eagle shot miss, you know those He's 180 one-shots. <laughs> They're all too common. This is the new angle. Swip the doors over. You can hold B from there. That's kind of mad. Of course, very vulnerable to a smoke, but complexity keeping it competitive on this. Despite oh. just a couple of armored pistols. Yeah, that's the sound I'd be making, too. Config's mantled up. And already, Oboe's making that 5.7 feel like a rifle. They're so good on these like weird buy rounds. They still have rifles. You you noted it very well, of course. They still had a bit, Chad, but it feels like every time they've converted an uh, dodgy buy. Yeah, and that was poison again. Two massive kills over towards this short position to slow down Astralis. Astralis have done a really good job of changing up the pace, right? So they've been taking long a lot, which would mean that the CTs need to lean there constantly. We have to stop long, we have to stop long, we have to mm. stop long. That's why they went for the Biff mid, because they can get short control very easily. They're not too worried about that. And look at this, long we go, four players, here we go. Big brawl, big Biff. 
And already the first casualty this time has gone Complexity's way, and that's a deterrent. They're out. Last time they were in fast mid, couldn't go there. Went over towards B. This time, pause for thought. Take a second, consider it. They've got plenty of util to play with. Plenty of players left. Yes, losing out on Glaive, who's been a monster, is going to be a thing, but flashes towards middle. CT side catching that, so going to fall a little for the look towards short. There's a lot of responsibility on Poison at this point in time. They're all coming from short, and the only man with any ounce of a contributing factor will be Poison's AWP. You see he's using all of his util to great success. And relocating to a less vulnerable position. We'll get locked out. More good utility usage, but that is pretty much where the bug stops. That's the last smoke grenade. Oh. He's pushing. You can hear it. Oh, so spraying into the smoke. will get two while flashed into the smoke grenade. Poison now can... Pick this last few frags up. It is just Bobski cowering in fear with 10 HP. Poison, a double, and a big win for Complexity. That puts them on match point against Astralis. Oh, three of the kills that round from the Complexity side of things were wild flashed. Crush is opening towards long. It's blind. Blame now, just holding down the trigger and hoping. Oh, and Poison, I, I swear, I'm going to go back and count. I swear it was only eight kills in the first half. He has come alive, something cruel on this CT side. He's getting all the freedom to go where he wants to. Oh, here we go. Poison's got the spawn for long, and they're coming long. Okay, one shot's probably enough. I'd probably want to get the hell out of Dodge if the track record's anything to go by, Lauren. Yeah, these guys have been just throwing bodies towards long. They've been keeping that pace high. And now Poison gets to fall back, but he has been instrumental in this impact for complexity and they needed something, a little bit of a, you know, morale booster back in and he's done more than just boost the morale. The numbers certainly looking very well, but Config definitely holding his own as well. Tease though, taking their time now. They've, they've taken long control. That was what they had, you know, first on the list. What's second? We will gather all five bodies towards long. And a very passive stance from Poison means that their walk-up will be pretty uncontested. Config calling it clear if he goes around that corner. We'll get the rotate ready. We'll also get the incendiary smokes, flashes, and peaks for info from Poison. Yeah, he's calling it clear. Maybe Poison wants to get a little glimpse of info. Obo's already on the rotate. So Astralis, very, very orchestrated. We can see this coming a mile away, and so can Complexity. How close are they? It is going to be cross time right about now. There's a gap still in that smoke, so that could be a problem, but apparently not. These guys make it work so well. Oh. Rush tries to turret from the side, but he's been eliminated. Now Poison and Config. Can you close it now? Do we go again? Poison does find Bubsky for that bomb. Oh, oh. Poison! He avoids Healthy. the flames. He might be able to find another Magisk. Not the case. Config's got a great Molotov Five. for 15 seconds. There's no one to... Oh, that could have been it. Opt for CT. They will have time to plan now as it was extinguished. And this is it for Config. A real chance. Both low. And trying to tap away at the head. It's Dupree. Not dead. Double kills. And that one felt like it was theirs. Blame head in hands. It definitely does embody the same sentiment. And we go again. So close. Inseparable, these teams. It was the same eight, seven halves all the way through OT. And perhaps we're going to have another eight, seven half to take us to our second overtime. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Astralis holding on here. Those frags through the smoke were a surprise, not only from Poison, but from Dupree as well. I just went back and counted it. Poison had five kills in the five. first half. Five really? kills. He now has... 20 bloody seven. Seven assists as well. You must be multi-killing practically every round. This is some bonkers stuff here from Poison. On the other side of things, Glaive still up the top there. 24 to his name. 21 for that of Dupree. Device with 10 assists. Having one of those days. <laughs> you never love that. You, you never love that. Yeah, you just hear the minus 84. Uh, <laughs> leg dim. Leg you just dim. Hope, I always just hope that my teammates see my assist and go... Having that day, it's all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's more that than anything. Device, though. Any luck on the cross? Ooh, yeah, he does okay. get more than a bit of luck. It's a good chunk of Config's life. Yeah, he got him right between the legs. That's no fun. Neither is that. Obo could get a multi here. And that's the long lockdown. Obo, put him anywhere. But first it was in or on train. Now it's long on dust, too. It doesn't matter if it's supposed to be hard to hold. Multi kills generated. An advantage to be maintained. Yeah, Config thinking better about going for that peak. They just need three more kills. And a little of a sitting duck there. 
Poison wants to contribute, but they are smoked. Blame knocked off his perch, trying to find safe haven, but he's caught in the flashbang. Couldn't quite escape. A 2v2. <laughs> oh, okay. here we go. Joe Alex, why don't you take this one? All right. Overtimes on the cards. Hobo with a flashbang, likely going to try and get that one if he was to win this duel, but Device so postured up. It's a freebie. And Poison, you said he's had a miraculous CT side. I don't know how on earth he's supposed to make this one happen with the hardest weapon for the job. Now we're talking a smoke, enabling him to walk out those doors, but anticipating where he could be. And Magis comes out of his hidey hole. It is another eight, seven, half. We've had four of them in two maps, and we're going to an overtime yet again. We're back, and Estrella's complexity step back into the ring. It's Dust 2 as they ready their gloves. Our oh, machine, I'm joined by Pansy and Sponge. They are not boxing. There is no physical altercations here. This is all virtual. Yet. 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 Oh, wouldn't that be interesting? A 1v1. They just both drop their weapons, decide to punch each other to death. In my fun game of Counter-Strike, we're going to scrap over time. We're just going to have a real beef. You put your strongest fighter and away you go. But Oh, well, I think Cole would have a real chance there, mate. They've got a walking wall in Blame F, but... Thankfully, this is virtual, and Bobski's just beheaded Oboe blind through the smoke, rushing Jeopardy too. 
and they're going B. This is all smoke and mirrors. Blame, I spoke of him. Let's see what he can do. Nothing is the answer. Astralis in hot pursuit of the first, but caught through the smoke, kept honest, and the bomb is late to delivery. We will see a chance here. He knows that cross Ugh. was a labored one, but he has stopped, not stopped that bomb from going down. A spray bullet could have cost Dupree his life then. Very lucky to be alive on two sitting towards the tunnels. But the bomb goes down nonetheless. The three CT is going to try and play it back in. What do they have? One flash, a couple of more. They've got some bits and bops to work with. Rush now. Oh, are you kidding me? I guess they need a little bit of luck back on their side after that last round of the double spray on Cat. There's poison. Bit of an MVP. Takes a lick of damage and time's ticking. They ain't got much of this left now. Config's got to go pretty soon on the other side. Device takes the fight, loses life, but now it's Config. Trying to play it back in 1v2. Time is pretty much gone here and they know it. Yeah, Config not going to get anything done here. Hoping to keep Magist on the site. And he loses his life. Magist does not. So that's a perfect start to Astralis' T campaign. Yeah, they were doing so many players over towards Long, right? Just round after round after round. They were trying to bury them. And guess what? Blame's actually been having a relatively rough end of the stick right here. So isolating him on the site, not even able to convert one frag. Well, wow, that put complexity in a very, very precarious retake. And that shot from Dupree, just the timing after the flash. Oh dear, that one right there was the nail. Look at this, device 11 assists. Flames chunking down some more damage. His frustration might be starting to mount right now as the double orbs are out for complexity. Config using that smoke to his advantage. Bubski held at bay towards long and four quickly corralling down middle. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Config goes one for one. It's Blame again, they're trying to isolate. Bang on. Super isolated, so alone, that Molly slowing down any support system that could have been on the way. And at the top of mid is Rush, so they know the mid's kind of clear. Still a little bit of confusion, but Blame have to focus towards oh. one side. Glaive has been a meat cleaver, opening up sights, but then Rush quickly in response. Oh, I thought he had him. They're so low, though. There's a real shot here, Bubski. He heard the retreat, and he'll call it clear. Oh, Rush, I wonder how smart you're going to play that one. Now. Better shot than last time. Oboe's going to fly around the corner to try and draw fire. Poison's burning. He has to go. That's the health. Then he will be incited into the site. Now they're so low. And the Deagle's enough. Device and Bubski convert again. B site a weakness. And now with MR3 T side, this is so interesting because you've just hit B successfully twice. What it's a wrong, nightmare yeah. for Blame. Yeah. What a nightmare for Blame. And now the problem becomes with the long hits for what was working before. Because Blame was having to retake into that A site time and time again. If I'm Astralis and I get good long spawns here, just go all in for the long play. Because the lean, it might be a 2-1-2 setup that Complexity have to opt for. And yeah, that's not the regular Blame that we're used to seeing here. Astralis are breaking them down. And well, the Dak Daks, that might have something to say is we're on board with the... <laughs> <laughs> that's a good use for it. I'm glad we found something to get use of our new inspired camera that MC's been workshopping for us. Been in the lab. He has. Ooh. Oh, that's quick reactions. The hell is this man? This is the poison you've been talking about. That's the guy we've been looking to see, but for now, Astralis do still have all the advantages, at least with the score line at 17 to 15. Complacity could really do with a closer on this. Yeah, I think he might have caught Obo there, at least a dink. Obo's lucky to be alive over the yeah, top of those flames. Molly right in front of him, so he's done very well there. Well, this was the same what happened on train. It looked like Astralis were blowing them out, and then Complexity snagged one. And they got three straight on the other side. His history repeating itself once again. Wow, he actually wins that duel, and Device is on the retreat. This is a clean final round of play. Unless Magisk wants to uh, change the script, flip it into Config's warm embrace. Not to be. So, two to one. Astralis will be switching over to the favored side, the side where we also saw an eight, seven, half. So I don't know if I really <laughs> want to say favored side. I don't think it works in this one, oh, does it? Dear. No, these, these guys have been so inseparable. We've just had the same story again and again. Teams inseparable, exploiting each other's slight cracks in the armor. But we will head into our first round of the second overtime of our second map of our second series on Dust Second. I love that config. First one out now. Oh my Ooh, god. Nice movement. Beautiful stuff from config. So swift. 
Gets over towards Pit. Posts up. He's got some buddies to join him too. One of the positives for Astralis here is the fact that they can hold on to a lot of this utility. If they're able to get back short control, what it means is they can hold on to all these nades, like I was prefacing in earlier rounds of regulation. Using those Molotovs, those Smurks, those HEs to make this cross of long very difficult. It is possible now, and I think they might have the prowess to get away with it. And off we go. Config, the wiggle keeps him alive. The flash is good. Device tagged up. Oh. Save in trouble, but not enough. Bomb planted by Rush. Smokes to try and get him out. Oboe wild through the smoke. Complexity in good stead for damage here. Two significant contributors low. Device, Glaive, 33 health between them. That is a bit of a problem. It will come down to Magisk and Dupree to find a way back in. Nothing left on the T's either. Ooh, that's it's just good. guns out, whereas Utility are plenty for the CT's rush. It looks like Glaive, and it looks like the other CT's are going to come through from CT, and it's just Magisk and Dupree. There's not much to be done, I don't think. Wow. Whoa. Excuse me? There's no time for this, but he's done a lot of damage. Very nice. It looked good. It definitely yeah. looked good, as Vegas has no option right now. He will save the AWP. It's not really an issue right now, as we are dealing with that 16k. A, a flashy play, nonetheless. And a little aimbot. Now we're tied back up. Who would have thunk it? 17 to 17. Everybody in the server with 20-plus frags. As you can see there at the top of your scoreboard in overtime. We are looking for first to 19, unless we go double, 18, 18, and we do it all again. That was some heads up Counter-Strike right there as they took some big fights on the complexity side. And well, guess what? Back towards long. Same again. Obo this time. First in. Oh, that was so nice on the cross. Catching one, catching two. Alex, this is looking really rough for Astralis now. It really is. They're going all the way back. They're clearing long right now. So there's information given. Dupree's actually pushing. He's going to know there's nothing there in a moment. But is it going to be too little too late? It's just Magus outside the site right now towards B. You saw what he did before, Chad. Maybe he could do it in a much larger capacity against an entire complexity squad. The Americans, the Danes, and the Bulgarian prepare for a B hit. Magisk has got nothing more than his bullets to stop this. First, lovely. Poison in trouble. The spray control there, but not enough. And now they have the sight, Dupree and Device. Yes, the double Ds are potent. But I think this is a too tall of an order. The may as well go for it. The may as well give it their best shot here. There's nothing to lose, everything to gain. Huge pair of players. Oh, you agree, music man. Thank you. Config, tag double look at Blame F. That's lovely. Really nice work. Fills the role we know he can. 18 now on the board for complexity. Feels weird, dude. Don't say anything you can't take back. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Or sure, Astralis are doing exactly that right now, Alex. Exactly. So we'll do the same. Potentially one last round of Counter-Strike here, and Complexity are looking to do it in the exact same way that they did it on train. And now they've brought up the Dak Dak. They're going to give Astralis a taste of their oh. medicine. Oh. Much more damage, Rush and Blame, both combining. They've done it again, and history does repeat itself, Chad. Oh, gosh. Maybe, maybe Glaive can change things. Maybe he can cause a bit more of a temporal upset. What can you do? What on earth can you do? They're about to hit B. There's only one man that the, with the possible position to do it. And it's Glaive. A double kill to equalize instantly. Oboe's still got the dag tack and he's still getting kills. Blame F2. Complexity, one frag away. It's just device. And it's with the dag tack as well. I don't understand.